Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing the basics of combining multiple models with multiple textures into a single model with a single texture in Blender. Before I begin, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So the process of combining multiple models into a single model is called joining, and the process of combining multiple textures is called baking. So we're going to start by joining these models together. This is a project that I created. This is a, a set of models that I made for a virtual reality game that I was helping out with the creation of. And uh, basically it is, there's a, uh, a column here of bricks. There's this wooden post, these two green ropes that are holding up this sign. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of these and highlight them. And then under object, I will select join. And now they're all joined into a single model. And I'm just going to rename this original. Okay. And if you open up the properties, you will see that there are three textures involved. There's a texture for the sign. There's a brick texture for the column. And then the post texture is for this wooden post as well as these green ropes here. So what I'm going to do is right click on this and copy it. And then I'll just hit control V to paste it. And now I have an exact duplicate of it. And I'm just going to rename this the baked version. And under that baked version, I will go ahead and open up the materials tab and just select this minus remove material slot from all three of those. So one, two, three, they're gone. All right. So now I'm set to go with regard to rebaking these into a new single te material texture. Of course, before I do that, I will probably need to re-UV unwrap that. So I'm going to go to the UV editing workspace tab. And if I select all, you can see that this is really a mess. It's all laying over itself uh, and that's not going to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and select UV, Smart UV Unwrap, and then OK. So now it has redistributed all of these faces in a way where they can be individually mapped. Going to the Shading tab, what I will do now is create a new material for this baked item. So I'm going to select New, and then under Add, Texture, I will select Image Texture, and I will just place it right here. I can go ahead and connect this, and then I will select New, Create a New Image, and I'm just going to call this Baked. You can call it whatever you want. You can make it any size you want. I'll just leave it at 1K, and I will select OK. So now over here, if I select it from the dropdown, you can see that it is empty. There is nothing in it. And if I turn off the original, you can see that the whole thing is basically black because there's nothing there. So now we are ready to go ahead and set up the bake. Let me turn back on the original. The first thing we need to do is go to the render tab and then change the render engine from EV to cycles because EV is a great render engine, but it does not um, support baking under the cycles tab, we can go down to bake and we'll just twirl those properties open. And you can see that we have several choices here that are available. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the bake type from combined to diffuse. Diffuse is just the color information and not anything else. Also, we're going to go ahead and uncheck direct and indirect contributions. These are basically like lighting that is on this and that kind of thing. Since I don't have any lighting on this, uh, I don't want that to be influencing it here. Okay. Now I'm going to select the original and then I'm going to control and select baked. What this does is this makes baked the selected item and then original is still active here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go selected to active. Actually, it's the other way. This is selected. This is the active selective, right? So selected to active is what we want. We want to make sure that baked is the light yellow color and that the other one is the darker orange color. Twirling open selected to active. 
I want to do one thing, and that is under extrusion, I want to just tweak that up slightly to 0 0.01. The reason is because if we don't do that, it may cause some bleeding through. For example, if I turn this off for a second, you can see the, the lettering here on the sign might bleed through to the back of the sign. We don't want that. So we're going to add just a smidgen of an extrusion to prevent that from happening. Now that I've set everything up, all I have to do is select Bake. And you can see down here that it is going along and it won't actually take very long at all. And now it's done. And you can see that I have a new baked texture here. So if I go back to UV editing, you can see how this texture is now mapped around this the way that it's supposed to be. What I'm going to do just for simplicity is I'm going to go ahead and delete the original. And then I will go ahead and select all of these to get a better picture of that, right? And it looks lovely. If I come back out here to layout, you can see that this is one model that has a single material attached to it. Now I do want to save that texture for future use, especially if I'm going to be uploading it uh, to my virtual reality app or whatever. So I'm going to go back into shading and there's a couple of ways to do this. One is with the baked texture selected, I can just select this three bar icon and then under image, I can say save or save as. Also under UV editing, I can go ahead and under image, select save or save as. And that way I'll have that texture available. I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel, and this has been the basics of combining multiple models with multiple textures into a single model with a single texture in Blender. Again, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Uh oh, hang on. Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing the basics of combining multiple models and multiple. <laughs>